In this video, I want to write down the integers x that satisfy each inequality. So I'm only interested in the integers that satisfy each of these inequalities. OK? So for the first one, x must be greater than or equal to 3, but less than or equal to 5. So if you thought about it on a number line, here is 3, here is 4, here is 5. We are including 3, we are including 5, and we want anything between. And so the values of x that satisfy it are 3, 4, and 5. 3 and 5 are included, and so the only one in between is 4. OK, so it's all three of those that we want. OK, so for the second one, we've got x is greater than minus 2, but less than or equal to 3. So we have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, we are not including minus 2. It's a strict inequality. We are including 3. So because we're not including minus 2, the x values here are minus 1, 0, 1, 2, or 3. So they are the integers that satisfy that inequality. Right. OK, so the third one. Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Now, we're including minus 5, so a solid dot. We are not including minus 1, so hollow dot. We want anything between. So the x values that satisfy it are minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, and minus 2, but not minus 1, OK? Because we're not including it. It has to be less than minus 1. And the last one, x must be greater than 6, but less than 8. 6, 7, 8. Both 6 and 8 have hollow dots because they're strict inequalities. So we're not including 6. We're not including 8. So there's only one value of x that satisfies that inequality, and it's 7. Okay. So remember, in these cases, I've specified x has to be an integer. Okay. I know that there are an infinite number of numbers uh, between those, within those regions. Okay, but we're only looking for integers, and there's a finite number of those in each of these cases.